All right, what's good? So I'm currently top 16 in the world. Um, basically, I'm just going to be pushing to as high as I can get this video. Hopefully, we get number one, but I, I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, either way, we'll post the video. So yeah, let's hop into the first game. All right, in the first match here against Adam from 7K Rejects. Um, not really sure what this guy plays. Most of the people up here, I have like a vague idea what they use. Looks like he has Bomber, so it could be E-Giant. Barbell as well, so I'm guessing E-Giant right now, yeah. Alright, just gonna cycle my log. E giant you kinda wanna just play slow and single. Um Ice Boost is actually gonna get what? Okay, just one shot on that right lane there, so I'll take that. Um just gonna go with Skelly's to make sure this Golden Knight doesn't dash on my Tesla. He could still probably dash it if he wants. Um looks like he's gonna choose not to though. We'll go Knight to make sure this Phoenix kites over. And then probably just set up an Ice Boost in the back here. Barbaro, I think Tesla actually pops up. Yeah, okay, nice. So I don't have to waste my log over there. Um, we're just going to go for log cycle on the left. Oh, that was kind of an unfortunate timing there for the bomber. I'm um, just going to cycle my NATO to fix my cycle. I usually don't mind cycling the NATO on the cannons because, I don't know, it doesn't really, like, you don't need the tornado, like, necessarily for anything in the stack. Um, he's going to go Phoenix. We'll just go Skellies. Oh, my God. What in the world? Okay, wait. Um, can we punish this? I don't really know. I am going to try, though. I'm going to go X-1-0. I don't know if he has enough for um, E-Giant since he did pop that ability. Um, we're going to try to get an Expo down on zero. These don't have enough for E-Giant. Okay, wait, Barbaros. He's going to cannon this. Um, yeah, and we can just get a really well-timed log here, and there's no way he defends this, right? Nice. So we're going to get definitely jump into the lead. Um, yeah, he went way too aggressive with that lightning right there. I don't know why he did that. It's literally single elixir and he's playing like six elixir on just a tesla i don't know pretty aggressive i'm um, just gonna go for a tesla up high now see if we can control the bridge that's like the key thing against e-giant is controlling the bridge for at least most of the game um so they can't get the gold knight connections on your tower i'm gonna go knight in the back and then cycle my log on this left lane here and then skellies for the phoenix um, i'm gonna honestly set up a second tesla to just make sure everything dies right here He's gonna lighten that, like what in the world? We're gonna go Ice Wizards to the side again. And then just defensive expo. I could probably just rocket this tower like and be fine, but I'm not gonna risk that um, this early on. Just gonna go for a, actually a weird kind of Tesla up high here. Um, if he lightens this, that's fine. Looks like he's not going to. Okay, he is going to. After like 10 seconds. I don't know. This guy's lightnings are very odd, like not, not common. Um, so, I mean, I'm just gonna keep cycling logs every time I have them to try and keep damage up. I'm gonna go Skellies to kill this bomber, and then just Tesla in the center again. Um, he's gonna go for another, like, I don't know, what do you even call this? Is this even called a push on the right lane? It's just kind of like all the support troops played without the wind condition. Okay, there's the wind condition. Um, I suppose to slow down this Phoenix, and then we'll go Knight. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for a log here, and then Tesla up high. Oh, shoot, okay, we got a NATO on zero. Um, because I did play that Tesla way too high up. Hopefully he's not back to E-Giant already, or I'll be kind of screwed. Um, but with 3-card cycle, he might be. Phoenix in the back. I'll just go Ice was in the back, same lane. Um, okay, what in the world? He has the most aggressive lightnings ever. Like, why would he play a lightning on the... Oh, I tried to predict his E-Giant at the bridge right there. Um, but he went with a cannon instead, which doesn't really make any sense, but, you know... Whatever, um, gotta go for an Ice Wiz on zero, because I did misplace this Tesla one too far over. Um, Expo should take out that bomber, and then just gonna go for another defensive Expo. Three lightnings, that's completely fine. Yeah, but we're just gonna rocket his tower. 48 seconds left, he's gonna be giant the bridge here, and probably go Gold Knight as well. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to, how to defend this. Um, we'll go Knight first here to kill this, oh nice, we actually catch the cannon, and we can also kill that Barbaro right there. He's gonna go for the Golden Knight. I'm gonna try NATO and then pull it off with Skellies, maybe? Okay, Golden Knight does not dash in my tower. He's definitely gonna lightning this Tesla. So as soon as he lightnings, I'm gonna play the Ice Wiz and the Knight to kill that E-Giant. And 22 seconds left, I win with Rocket. As long as I make no mistakes, um, I'm just gonna play an Expo at the bridge just to force out Elixir from him. I'm also gonna log to put some pressure on him. Um, go for an Ice Wiz here. Okay, um, did I just... 
didn't choke him. Okay, we're fine, I think. Yeah, you're chilling. Um, I almost, I don't know, I actually low-key, low-key almost did choke, but we managed to still win the game. Um, pretty difficult matchup, obviously, as you guys know, it's definitely a giant's matchup. But yeah, we'll take that first win of the video there. Alright, in the next match against this guy from a Trap. So, once again, no idea what he's playing. Just gonna cycle my skellies. Um, he goes for a Royal Ghost in the back. We'll match that with a Knight. So, Royal Ghost probably means RG, right? Um, or P.E.K.K.A, I guess. So, okay, Zap. So, it's definitely P.E.K.K.A. We're gonna go Tesla. Oh, shoot, I played that a little bit too early. Um, kind of sloppy for me right there. Definitely a mistake that I shouldn't be making. Um, I meant to wait for that Ghost to walk into my Knight, but... Yeah, it didn't end up happening. Just gonna go Ice Wheels. Oh my gosh, I'm making a bunch of mistakes right now. Um, shoot. All right, we're gonna go Skellies on top of this and then Knight right away because he might zap. Okay, luckily he does not. So we do manage to kill like that Battle Ram without any issues, even though we didn't have Tesla in cycle. Um, I'm just gonna NATO this to King Tower if he lets me. I don't know. Um, we're down a thousand damage. Not a great start. Obviously, I've had a few misplays already. So this is not my, not my greatest um, gameplay, but we're going to go Ice Wheels for this 3 wizard. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm not nervous, but like, I'm like, my plays aren't as clean as they should be uh, right now. So I'm just going to go for a log. And okay, did we catch the magic archer? We don't. Dang. Um, I guess we'll cycle skellies in the back here and then just go for a knight to kill this magic archer. Okay, there we go. We got that. We got a timing right finally. So, um, just use my skellies though, unfortunately, and he did go bandit, so now I don't have anything for the bandit, like, to stop it from hitting my Tesla. Um, I guess I'll burn an Ice Wiz up high here, which is obviously, honestly, not a terrible play, um, but I don't really like doing it, just because Ice Wiz is, like, the best defensive card in this deck against P.E.K.K.A. Um, gonna go, hmm, he's probably gonna Battle Ram with this, so I'm gonna log now, um, and then cycle back to something to kill the Battle Ram. Okay, he does not go for it, interesting. And we'll go Knight down low, and if he Magic Archer this, okay, he's got a Magic Archer in the middle. So we can go for a defensive expo and Tesla here. Um, Bandit was on the Tesla, unfortunately. He Fire Rolls my expo, which is fine. Just gonna go Ice Wiz in the back now. And then Skellies to surround this Ghost. Um, yeah, we can also go for a Log and then Knight of High in case he Magic Archers. He's still gonna match Archer. I don't think that hits. Yeah, he missed, messed, uh, messed up the lineup. So we're gonna go for an Expo now that we do have the Tesla full HP. Um, he's gonna P.E.K.K.A. Going to just try and get like a... either. A, I'm actually gonna go for a Rocket NATO, I think. I'm gonna go for it right now. Um, oh my gosh, wait. Okay, we got a lot of value with that NATO. Um... Oh, yeah, that was kind of nuts, I'm not going to lie. Um, I didn't. I knew he was going to play an Ewiz, but I didn't know where. So I kind of got a little lucky, but we did manage to predict him out of his mind right there. So we're going to go Skellies to kill this Magic Archer. Perfect placement on those as well. Feeling really good after that play. Um, so he's going to Fireball that. That's perfect. We can set up a defensive Expo. That's going to sit on the boat on the map forever now. Um, he is going to P.E.K.K.A. opposite lane, which is kind of scary. But we should be completely fine if I just cycle back to another Ice Wiz. He's gonna go Ghost in the center. Hmm, I'm just gonna play the Ice Wizard early and then log on the right lane here. He plays a really bad Ewes right there as well. Um, go chilling. Should not hit my Tesla, right? Uh, okay, we're gonna go with the slow. For a second, I thought that bandit was not gonna dash on my. Uh, what's it called? Sorry, I lost my train of thought on my Tesla. Um, but luckily, I had enough HP where it, back, where it did dash. So we're in triple elixir now. I'm gonna go Ice Wiz in the back. He's gonna peck at the back again. Which honestly, I, don't, I hate when they do that because it just like scares me a little. Um, we're gonna set up a the second defensive expo here. Um, go for Knight up high on this battle lane. A few Magic Archers, we can just log. Okay, I'm actually gonna log all this crap. We actually hit the Magic Archer as well. Gonna need off just to make sure it's not lined up on the tower. 20 seconds left, I gotta go for a rocket now. Um, Skelly's to surround this ghost, and then goes for Tesla at the center. Um, we should be completely fine here as long as I go for a knight. Yeah, bad fireball by him. Um, we got this game under control. 
100% as long as we don't take any magic archer damage, obviously. So he goes from Eagle, is kind of a bad Eagle, but him. it's like the least, like the card gives the least amount of pressure in the entire deck. So yeah, we would have been able to defend this really easily, even if he like, would have had more time. Um, so good game. We win by like five, five, six hundred damage against Pekka. Um, Pekka is obviously not the easiest matchup. Uh, I have lost to it a couple times this season, but we're getting better against it. Um, obviously, it's back in the meta, but yeah, solid game. Alright, in the next match here against Sigawa? Sigawa? I don't know. Anyways, um... Looks like he's not gonna do anything, so I'll just cycle a log to open the game. We're gonna go Knight in the back. Um, okay, Lava. Wow, I actually have not played a Lava Hound in probably... Probably at least four or five days, to be honest, um, of ladders, so... I'm gonna go export the bridge. Okay, Skelly Drags. This could get a little dicey for me. Um, not sure really how I'm going to deal with these. I'm going to have to figure out something where I like... Actually, I have an idea. I'm, I usually go Ice Wiz really low to just like splash both of them. Um, he's actually going to go for a Balloon Minion push on this right lane. Okay, interesting. I um, definitely don't think that was the play from him because my Ice Wiz is just going to clean up this left lane very easily. Um, Tesla's also going to help. With the Lava Hound, we're just going to play some early skellies right here to tank for the pups. And yeah, really good defense. He actually goes for a minion horde. Um, okay, I would have been fine and not had to play this Ice Wiz if those pups didn't go like a kite over to that lane. But they did, unfortunately. So uh, my Ice Wiz is going to get a couple shots on this left side here. And then if he goes Lava, we'll just play an Expo on the other side just to make him like respond. Okay, he is going to Lava, so we'll Expo. Probably might lose my left side tower here, um, depending on what he does. But, okay, he's going to go Barbs. That's bad for me. Um, I'm going to log those off. And then Skelly's up high. Okay, um, the play right here is probably to go Night Low, just to pull the Skelly Jacks over to where I can play a Tesla, like, just on them. Um, that was actually a pretty good play. Um... Lava Hound is about a quarter of HP, so we should be fine and not lose my tower here. He is going to go Balloon opposite lane. Kind of a dumb play by him, just because he knows I have Nato in cycle. So, uh, we'll just go for Nato here to pull it up. And then, finish off... Actually, I'm going to go with an Expo on the right lane here. Because he's probably going to Lava Hound, right? Um, okay, guess not. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we need to get a Tesla down on this for sure. And wait, why is he lobbing that lane? Um... That doesn't make any sense, but anyways, I'm going to go Ice Wiz in the back. All we need to do is defend one time, and then we can just rocket this tower for the win. So, I'm going to cycle the log early here, 19 seconds left. I'm going to cycle my second Tesla. And then, he's going to go for a freeze. Definitely don't agree with that freeze, but yeah, that's going to be game. 8 seconds left. There's no way that um, he gets enough damage from that Hound, or he like, gets anything in my tower, so we're just going to rocket to finish off the game. And honestly, a pretty clean game. I haven't played against Lava Hound like a, in like a fat minute, so um, let's check where that puts us. Plus 27, not bad. I think that's going to put us top 10 at least. Um, it's going to put us number 7, so yeah, pretty pretty, pretty high up. Alright, we found the next match against Ruben. Um, I played against Ruben earlier, and I think he's playing Giant Skeleton Hog Earthquake. Um, he might have switched decks, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, definitely he's playing the same one. Um, I did manage to beat him earlier. We won in like the first 30 seconds actually because he went with a similar play with the giant skeleton in the back. Um, and I just went with an Expo Knight other lane and like predicted his cannon and that was pretty much game straight up. But obviously didn't have my Expo, um, like I didn't have the right setup in cycle to do that this time. Um, he is pretty ballsy for going uh, giant skeleton in the back first play though. So we're just going to have to go with skeletons to the side here. Don't have to worry about the queen ability. Um, What's he going to do here? I'm curious, because he played the last time we played, and he played very, very aggressive. So I'm curious to see if he, like, slows down and tries to just, like, Earthquake Cycle a lot more, or what his strategy is. So we're just going to go Ice Wiz in the back. He goes Queen up high. We'll actually Tesla that right away. And then once he pops the ability, yeah, I'm going to log, because, yeah, I figured he'd go Skellies or, or Ice Spear right there. So that was pretty good. Um, a nice prediction right there. Um, if he goes for a giant skelly, okay, he's not going to. He's going to log that, yeah. 
take no shots and get the tower damage. That was a really good log by him. I'm just going to cycle my skellies and probably go knight in the back. Almost in double elixir where it's going to be way better for me. Um, cannon in the center. Kind of an annoying play, um, but nothing I can really do. I just got to go ice was in the back. Shout out to whoever's doing that uh, ice was email on the sideline over there. Um, same thing, I'm actually going to log this. We still hit something. It was probably the Ice Spirit again. Um, so literally the exact same sequencing that just happened happens again. And he's probably going to go with Skelly's Log again too. Um, yeah, he does so literally like carbon copy of what just happened. But he doesn't hit my tower with that Log. So kind of a bad Log by him. Um, we're going to go Knight in the back. Giant Skelly in the back. Okay, interesting. I'm actually going to go with Exploit the Ridge and then Ice Wiz. He does go for the Hog and the Earthquake. All right, that's fine. He also Logs. Yeah, so he spent a lot of licks right there. Going to go Tesla up high. To start working on that. He's probably going to queen. Okay, he goes hog. So that's even better for me. We'll just knight on top of that to make sure it dies really quick. Skellies are so good against the hog when it's like caught up on the Tesla like that. Um, so. Just going to keep playing slow and go ice was in the back. Ooh, kind of tempted to rock and hit with that queen. But it might be too aggressive. We'll just go with another um, Tesla up here. And he's going to go with the giant skelly at the bridge. That's just an easy rocket for me to obviously kill the queen like there's no way i'm killing that queen behind the giant skelly unless i have a valkyrie so um we'll go ice was in the back again okay he goes queen um knight's probably not a bad play here honestly yeah i'm just gonna rocket this queen again because i don't want to deal with it it just gets way too much value um even when i am able to kill it eventually it still gets like 20 elixir value so rocketing it might not be a bad play every single time. I'm going to prediction ice was the bridge in case he cannons. Oh nice, we actually got it, so that's really good. Um, he's going to go queen, we'll just log. I'm actually going to nato this too. Okay, why did it not... Oh crap, okay. We're going to go for a Tesla low here. And then log should be, enough, should be able to kill that queen. Um, what I was trying to do right there is pull that queen into the Tesla's range so it would die very quickly before he even like could react and pop the ability but that didn't work out obviously i'm um, still in a good situation here though he's gonna go giant skelly we'll go knight in the back to match tesla up high here and then just go for a log he's probably gonna queen the center and um, ice was oh crap that was actually a good queen by him I'm gonna go knight to make sure this hog dies and then probably go for a defensive expo honestly just to make sure like i can do something against this queen. Um, it's still going to stay alive. Oh my goodness. So we can just native this one hog to king after we pull the skelly away. Um, going to go knight up high too. Queen is still alive, by the way. It's absolutely wrecking me. He's going to go for the cycle. Um, the, the earthquake cycle. So we can just go for a rocket now on tower. He's going to earthquake cycle again. We'll just go skellies for that um, queen. And then ice was up high here. Nato the hog to the king tower. Um, log for that ice spirit and then 17 seconds left i think i win if i just go for a rocket and then play defense here um i'm gonna go for a prediction tesla unless we hit that so he's gonna earthquake obviously we're gonna go with nato and then log on tower just to make sure that we have the damage like enough damage to win the game so two seconds left one second left yeah we win by like almost 300 so it wasn't even really that close um but really solid gameplay against a deck that is definitely my matchup but it's not like that easy to win um and it obviously against one of the best players in the world as like, going up against ruben so Let's see where that puts us in the world. I think that puts us pretty close to, like, top five. Um, okay, that actually puts us fourth. Wow, we're, like, maybe one game, game away from number one. Okay, found the match against Ian77. So this is going to be very tough. Um, I think he's playing Royal Giant Lightning, which is going to be a nightmare for me to go up against, obviously. Um, yeah looks like he probably is with what he's played so far so there's the ghost that pretty much all but confirms it um we'll go knight to counter that so what i usually do against rg lightning is like hope that they make a stupid lightning and single elixir or like a bad rg push um and if they do that we can usually go in with an expo on offense um they just don't like expect you to go expo at all like most of the time so it, it usually works out when you actually do go in with an expo but we'll see how it goes in this match um currently up one hp let's go <laughs> so I'm just gonna cycle my tesla at the bridge see what he wants to do i wouldn't be surprised if he rgs the bridge here um yeah he does rg hmm. 
All right, he's gonna fish her as well. We'll just needle this up and then go for skellies on top of the RG. Um, he's gonna log. Oh, that's his mistake. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Um, I'm actually gonna go expo on zero on the left lane here. He doesn't have RG in cycle. He could lightning on zero, but he's gonna get like, I don't know, it's not gonna do anything. So he's gonna go with the ghost and skellies instead. Log those skellies off and just to get as much damage as possibly as we possibly can with this expo. So really good first connection here. That's exactly what you need to do to have a chance in this matchup. Definitely still not over because double and triple are way, way harder with just the lightning cycles. Um, and like defending against RG after RG after RG. So probably you're going to go Ice Wiz in the back here. Oh, shoot. Okay, he plays RG at the same time. Don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I kind of get a little bit unlucky, but we should be fine. Oh, I'm going to go Knight in the back. Almost in double, so we shouldn't have any trouble defending now. The problem is the lightnings. They're going to start stacking up, and I don't know how I'm going to react to them. So he's going to go for a lightning now. I'm going to actually tornado this RG out of lane, or out of range, because um, as you guys can see, it doesn't hit my Tesla. If I pull it out of range and like it goes back underground. So we're going to go Ice Wiz in the back. Just going to go Knight up high. And then... Hmm. I guess defensive expo is probably the play. We'll go Tesla to the side here and then Skelly's as well. Um, hopefully a good timed... Nope, okay. Apparently the RG is going to stay all the way up there. He might lightning this Ice Wiz. We'll see. Yeah, he actually does. So very, very aggressive with his lightning so far. Um, just like pretty much every other RG player, to be completely honest. So we're going to go Tesla up high. If he goes for an RG, even if he doesn't, I'm just going to go with an expo right away on defense. Um, Skelly's to kite that ghost over. And then... I think Log's a pretty good option here. Tesla is doing a very good job of cleaning up this RG, so... We should be alright. Um, if he lightnings this knight, then we're going to be down damage. Which would just be crazy. Um, so... He's going to go RG in the back. We'll just go for a defensive expo again while we're here. Ice was up high to stop this fisherman. Um, oh, he's actually going to lightning that, which is kind of crazy. Oh, we're just going to go for a NATO. And then, do I need to do anything else? I don't think I do. I'm actually going to go Tesla, though. Um, ghost in the back. That's fine. We'll just go for a defensive expo again. And then, I'm also going to knight the bridge. Okay, I thought he was going to RG the bridge. That's why I did that. So... Um, just for a fisherman, I'm actually going to go for a NATO because number one, I don't want that fisherman anywhere near my troops that I'm going to play on top of the RG. And number two, I also needed to cycle. So we're going to go Knight up high now since he doesn't have Fisher. He goes for a very aggressive lightning on that one single Ice Wiz. So we should be able to defend fairly easily here. Well, I'm going to go Ice Wiz now since his lightning's out of cycle, obviously. Um, and then just another Tesla up high. going to try and win this bridge fight. All right, he goes for... Another RG. If he lightnings this, okay, yeah, now he's messed up because he played way too aggressively. Um, all we need to do is cycle three rockets, and I think we have control, even though it seems like it is a little bit sketchy right now. I'm not worried. Um, I'm gonna go for a log on tower. Yeah, he goes for another lightning. He still needs two more lightnings, though, and all I need is two rockets. We're gonna get this off with barely 20 seconds left, actually, so this is a lot closer than I thought. Um, I'm gonna go Ice Wist at the side here early, cycle my log, cycle Skelly's up high, and then just go Knight at the bridge. Um, 10 seconds. Yeah, there's no way he gets back to another lightning. Okay, wait, guys. I actually might lose this game. Okay. That actually was way closer than I wanted it to be. But we managed to take the win. Very, very close game against an insane player, obviously. And that's going to put us at number two in the world. So, yeah, really, really solid. Um, shout out to Nate for being number one, by the way. And, yeah, that's going to be video, guys. Peace. We'll see you in the next one. Um, hope you enjoyed.